Hi, my name's Mark Gleason or Gleeso from Tri Alliance TV. Today we're going to talk about cornering and descending at speed. So today the first thing I want to take you through is um, the giant advanced SL0. This is a time trial bike and typically you'll either be on a time trial bike or on a road bike. Today we're going to cover what it's um, descending on a time trial bike. The key difference that you'll find with a time trial bike is that when you come into a corner your weight is a lot further forward. You'll have a lot more weight on the front wheel because the seat is probably about 10, 6 to 10 centimetres further forward than what it is on a road bike. The other thing you'll find with a bike, especially like the, the advanced SL0, is that when you get over about 40, 45 k an hour, the bike accelerates because it is so aerodynamic. So what you'll find is a fair bit of issues in actually pulling the bike up and slowing it down. So when you are descending on a, any sort of time trial bike, you do need to make sure you're getting your weight a fair way back. So now we'll cover descending. There's three things that I really think about when I'm descending. Braking, body position, accelerating. So typically I'll break it into three different groups. The first group, which is level one, which is the 100% of guys, or anyone doing a time trial, 40K, under about an hour and five. The second group is the main squad, and the third group is anyone that's in the, um, in typically been riding for about six to 12 months. So when we're braking, coming into a corner, the first thing I want everyone to think about is to brake straight. When you're coming into a corner, brake straight, especially in the wet. Really, really important. That way, you'll only come off the bike braking hard as if you're cornering. The second thing I want everyone to think about is to brake hard. So the middle group, you're braking straight, but you're also braking hard. Don't just ride the brakes all the way down, let them off, and then when you're coming into a corner, you're braking hard, so use the brakes. The third thing, the 100% of guys, the one thing I want you to think about as well, you're braking straight, you're braking hard, but you're braking late. So you're gonna come in with your maximum speed as late as possible, hit the brakes hard, keep it straight, and wash off all your speed. So when you're descending, you want to be at maximum speed for the maximum number of time, most time. But when you're cornering, make sure you've washed off all your speed. So you should be cornering a lot slower than what, what will occur with a lot of people is if they ride the brakes the whole way, they'll be going into the corners way too hot. Now the second thing I want everyone to think about is body position. The most important thing for body position is if we're, if we're coming in a left hand corner, sorry, in a right hand corner, you want all the weight on the outside pedal, maximum weight. You'll be about a centimeter off this, uh, off the seat, but you will be maximum weight on the outside pedal. So when you're coming into a corner as well, when you're going around a corner, you also want the inside knee and the elbow to be pretty much touching. When you're cornering hard, that elbow, that knee can drop out to the middle a little bit more to try and move the center of gravity across. So that's for the main squad. The third thing for 100% of guys, when you're coming into a corner, when you're braking late, braking hard, I want you to get the, your body right over the back of the seat. So really, the seat position should be around your stomach what that will, and your arms straight. What that will do is it'll take your center of gravity back and that'll allow you to apply much more braking pressure. So that's the, the things we've covered is the braking, We've covered the body position. Now the final thing is acceleration. As soon as you see a straight road in front of you, get out of the saddle, 10 pedal strokes, get back up to that 60 k an hour. The maximum time at the maximum speed is what descending is really about in order to really improve your average speed. So just remember, the three things around braking, the three things around body position, and accelerate as hard as you can. I'm Mark Gleason or Gleeso from Tri-Alliance TV. Thank you.